Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, please like, subscribe, and share. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool denim shirt inspired by Henry Matisse. So if you wanna know how I made this and a couple of other things, please continue watching. All right, so I chose this image because I love Henry Matisse. He's one of my favorite artists, and it's inspired a lot of my work. I did a painting inspired by this painting that you see here of Lydia. I'll show you it so you can see it. And I also um, printed it just so I can see it as I'm drawing. I'm going to start drawing with the black Sharpie. Oh, and this one that I'm wearing, I also painted myself. And I did this little tie as well. This shirt, I had actually spilled red white on it. So I, it was in my closet like for a year and I never wore it, obviously, because I had a red stain. Well, actually, it was more like brown after I washed it. So then I painted this and I strategically placed the flowers where the red was part of the vase. So painting your own clothes is a way to cover a stain, it's a way to bring new life to old clothing that you don't wear anymore. So let's get drawing. This is going to be very easy and I'll do it step by step. When I was a teacher, my students drew this and they did it. So if they did it, you can do it. Alright, so the, the face is actually very simple shape. It's the letter U. You're going to figure out where you basically want the face. I mean, the end of the, the top of the hair is going to end here. I'm thinking there. And it's off centered, but that's okay. No big deal. And then for her neck, you're going to bring two lines down. Her lips will be right here. So you do a little letter U. Bring it down on both sides, smiley face, and then align through the middle. There we got her lips, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I think there's beauty and imperfection, and I think the more irregular things are, the better they look. So then right above here, you make another U, because this is where the nose begins. And then you just take a straight line up, and then it becomes an eyebrow. Then you do the same thing on the other side. And align for the nostril, one on each side. And then the ears. I think I gave her really big ears, but it's okay. Her eyes. One's bigger than the other. No big deal. Make it your own. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Here, you close it off. She's wearing like this little collar shirt. Bring it up and around. Her shoulders. And her shoulders are, I think she's wider on this side. I think I like that better, so I'm gonna bring it in. Oh my god, I can't get it. Oh, I'll fix it somehow. So then her hair is kind of like a donut. Half of a donut either way. And you just make lines as you go out. I promise this is going to look good. It's good to have the print out, that way you can see what you're doing. And there, she's done. That was super easy. 
So now I'm going to take acrylic gesso and put it lightly all over the parts that I have drew and maybe some of where I didn't. And I'm going to do it lightly, lightly that way I don't uh, cover up the lines and those lines will actually turn purple once the gesso is over and you can still see what you drew. So very lightly. And lighter where the lines are, where you drew. See, and since I made the ear too big, well, this will be the time where I could correct it, you know? I can correct the eye that I messed up on. Also, where I messed up on her shoulder. And it doesn't have to be even, that it's going to create a uh, cool variance in color because it's going to be uneven. So, and that's it. So now, while we let that dry, I'm going to change this shirt because I don't want to get get it full of paint and I'm gonna show you a couple other stuff I've made. So this is the jacket that I made. I painted I painted the little uh, roses here and then with a pair of old jeans I added this to the sides because that whoa I think that's because I, I love fringe. This is a fun jacket little detail on top I made this sweater a long time ago and I don't really like it. I'm gonna use it while painting so I can like wipe my brush and put paint on it because I'm into wearing painted clothes now and uh, let me show you the sweater I have that I already finished. I used to wear this sweater to paint and now it's a look. It's something that I like wearing now I think it looks cool. Already very Basquiat because he used to paint on his sweaters too. So that's where I got the idea. Snazz it up with the white collar shirt underneath. What do you think? So I'm going to do the same thing with that orange sweater. I also made this jacket with hearts. Because sometimes when I make my stretchers, I have canvas left over. Or I cut painting stuff or things like that. So out of those pieces of canvas that I had left over, I cut hearts out. And then I glued them with fabric glue to this jacket. And I actually had a lot of them left over. So you just cut the hard out on canvas. Looks pretty cool, huh? Now let me show you a pair of pants that I made. So these pants have roses painted on them. I just washed them today actually and I washed them inside out and I'm leaving them to air dry. They're actually still wet. <laughs> I love, love painting clothes. Wearable art. All right, so I'm gonna make this very Andy Warhol because I love Andy Warhol and you saw the bright yellow, so I have yellow on my palette, and I'm gonna do the hair yellow. Now I made this ear too big, so I'm gonna paint over it yellow, just because I need to change, reassess the size of that ear. And I'm just using cheap acrylic paint for this. And the fact that there's not just so spread evenly, like it creates different tones of yellow. And I'm just following the lines I made, because you can see them, I don't know if you can see them through the camera, but. I can see him here. And I'm going to paint over this ear too because I need to reassess its size. If this was lighter than it, I would probably put something underneath it so it doesn't stain the other side, but this is pretty thick. So if it seeps through, it will probably seep through to the back of this, but not to the other. Now I have to let that dry. And since I'm making another sweater, well, I need to clean off my brush. And this is starting to make my other shirt that I'm going to paint. All right, I'm going to repaint pots. So I'm going to wipe it on my pants as well. So like I said, this is going to be very um, Andy Warhol inspired. So now I'm doing pink. I mean, uh, made a light pink for the skin tone. I'm using an angular brush to draw the face, paint the face. Her lips are going to be red, so I'm not going to paint over them. Her neck will also be pink. So now I have to, this is where I can redo the eyes because they were not the same size. So this is my time to redraw them again. I'm gonna be bold and do it straight with paint. See, and everything that I'm doing is creating art. I'm getting art on the shirt, my sweater, my pants. This I will turn into a painting. It's a little bit hard because it's not flat. So this would probably be better if I were like on a table. I mean, if I wanted to, I didn't have to, I don't have to get that close to the yellow because it's gonna have a black outline. Oh my God, my stomach hurts. I think I have to go poo here shortly. Now I completely lost the nose and the eyebrow, but that's easy to bring back on. I don't really need that line. Oh, my stomach. So I like this eye, so the trick here is to get the other eye to look as close to this one. Not perfect, because it doesn't matter. And her eyelid will also be pink. I thought you can see part of the blue from the 
Then um, so if you have someone to help you, it'd be good here if they could stretch the fabric for you. But I don't have a helper. So I still have a lot of pink. So now this pink is going on the pants I'm wearing. Oh, and some on my sweater. This sweater will not be finished with this painting because I'll probably do several paintings with this sweater on before I feel like it's done. Now I let that dry and then we'll come back and do the shirt. So now we're gonna do her shirt and for that we're gonna use teal green. Once again, angular brush so you can get those lines. I put the palette down just so I could hold the fabric down because I need to be precise here. My neck, my back, lick my, and my. And here I may stop, so here's where I paint over that part. I'm not gonna get to the collar because it needs to be a little bit darker, but need that since it's casting a shadow. So I'll have to make this color darker. And here I mess up, so we'll have to fix that, but I'll show you how to do it. It's an easy fix. I always say there's no messing up in art. You know, sometimes I feel like paintings take like a life, a life of their own, so then this messing up wasn't on purpose, like it needed to be like that. So I don't ever get distraught if something doesn't happen, because I feel it's like, it's meant to be. Everything always happens for the benefit of you. So now I need to make this color darker. So I'm just gonna add a darker blue. So now I have my darker blue. Bring this under here. And this is still wet, so it's gonna mix in quite nicely. And I don't have to get that close because there'll be a black line to separate. I'm gonna have to switch brushes to get really in there closely because this one's a little bit too thick. I love, love, love it. So we'll add some up here too. And there she is. I have a lot of painting left, so that's going on my sweater. The tricky part here is for me not make sure I don't sit on the couch or get anywhere where I could possibly ruin something, you know? So now I've got some red. Time to go in for the lips with an angular brush, but really, really small. I'm putting on her lipstick. What makes painting hard is not having the right brush for the right job. That's half the battle. Now she has these beautiful red lips. She's ready to kiss you. If you want, of course. Kiss me. Beneath the da da da. You'll wear that dress and I will wear that shirt. Ooh. And there are her lips. And I got a lot of red paint. I shouldn't have gone this much. But, no big deal, I'll just wear it. Ah. So, how am I going to fix that mistake? Easy, I got dark blue paint, and I'm just going to outline the art outside part of it with an angular brush again. And that's cool because it pops the yellow, pops the teal. So, like I said, now that I did this, I love it. So that was a necessary mistake that I had to make. Everything is either fixable or makes your painting even better. Everything happens for the benefit of you. And once again, I have leftover. So she's going to have green eyes. A different brush, a very small one because I need to be very precise. I thought I had lost the black in the eyebrow and the nose, but now that it's drying, it's coming back up so I can see it. Which is great because now I have a point of reference. Another thing that I do when I have leftover paint, I go use it in another painting that I'm working on because I usually like to work uh, at multiple paintings at this time, but I'm not actually having unfinished, everything's done. So that's why it's going on my clothes. This green, however, I don't think it works. Or does it? Yeah. Mm. I'll just add a little bit because it's not like I'm not crazy about this green with the vision I have for the sweater so we'll put just little hints of it and I don't want it on my pants either so I'm just gonna 
smear it here because remember this is going to be a painting that I'm going to turn this into so yeah now once this dries I'm going to come back in with the black some white for the eye part and we're almost done how exciting so I want to make this my own not an exact copy and I just thought about giving her purple eyeshadow why not uh, and I just got purple where I wasn't supposed to. Ugh. So I'm just using some saliva to take it off. So the eye area is still very wet. I don't want to get close to it because I don't want to smear like I did earlier with the purple. But I'm going to start tracing the stuff around it that I know it's already dry. Once again, an angular brush and then black paint. This is really going to make it pop. And it's going to look so, so cool. Ah, and I got some blue on her pink neck. Saliva always does a trick. Since I'm right-handed, you have to start from the left. Because if I would start here, then I would probably get my hand all over it and mess it up. So if you're left-handed, you start from the right. I always love to listen to music while I'm painting. And that's why you see so many like music video reactions on my channel. One, because they get lots of views. And two, because I'm always literally listening to music while I'm painting. And it's usually light and pop. I feel in my past life, I was probably a pop star. Or maybe I will be in my next life. I like how this yellow pops with the black. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And this is inspired, like I said, in every tease. But also by the uh, Andy Warhol version of Marilyn Monroe. I like to mix inspirations. And when you wash it, wash it inside out. And it's going to get... It's going to keep evolving and changing because the washer machine is going to take some of this stuff out. But, I mean, it's still going to work. She's going to evolve as you continue to wear her. And I think that's cool because it's changing. I mean, I wish I had, and one day I'll have the money to like buy high-end fashion. But this is like one of a kind. Nobody else is going to have it. And I think that's super cool just to like be able to have something that it's unique. Nobody has it. It's cool. AF. And I always like to make statements with things that I wear. I mean, I always, I have a lot of things that I wear that I make. One day, you will see these in the stores. One day I'll have my collection. But in the meantime, I guess it's just me wearing it. But one day you'll be able to wear it. A lot of my friends have pieces that I've made for them. So now I'm going to have to stop because I need to get a smaller brush to continue and I need to wait for all this stuff to dry. So. so I went ahead and finished the whole thing off camera because I don't want to give you all my secrets and pretty much I gave you all the tips necessary to create your own and it doesn't have to be expensive. This I bought at Forever 21 for $24. But if you don't have $24 to spend, you can go to Goodwill, to Savers, or any type of thrift store to create it. But I want to see what you make. I want you to make your own wearable art. So I'm going to leave you my Instagram name here, which is Amar Con Locura. Uh, and please create your own wearable art and then tag me on it. That way I can see what you've created. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this creation. I'm going to leave you also the photo of the original one here. It doesn't look nothing like it, right? And this is very me, very Andy Warhol inspired. I'm going to put the photo of Marilyn Monroe that Warhol did as well right here so you can see my inspiration for the colors that I chose but yeah go out there create your own art you're gonna be original cool and everybody's gonna want what you're wearing all right so it's dry I'm wearing it I think it's super cool I can't wait thank you so much for watching this far if you've made it this far please watch all the other content in my channel and Please leave your comments. I'd love to read them to see what you think. And until next time, adios y bye.